Let's go check out and see, did I stay under $400 or did I bust it? My team has challenged me to spend $400 and put together a starting toolbox for the trades. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together a tool bag, not spend over $400, but make sure I get enough tools to get me started good. So I start off looking at, well, I'm probably not gonna start with a toolbox like this and stay under $400, but either are you. Think about this, when you're first starting out in the trades, you want the tools that are gonna get you in and let you be productive, let you be a good functioning part of the team from the first day. So let's jump over to the other side, let's get a tool bag and let's start filling it up and see what we can get to help us do better starting on day one. Now, I found a couple of tool bags here that I really like. This one is open, a little bit more room, but I really, I like this one. The reason being, I can close it up. I've got a handle here that I can carry it. If you open it up, it's also got a shoulder strap. Now to me, the cool thing about that is, I remember the very first job that I worked on, I had to carry the plumber's tool bag halfway down the street. Now, if I've got enough tools in here to get me through the day, this is something I can carry to and from my car very easily. But also, if I'm locking up my tools in a gang box, a big toolbox on a job or anything like that, or maybe even just leaving them in the van that I'm working out of, this is something that can get me started really, really good. And it's on sale today for $40, and it's built to where it goes into the Craftsman Versa stack. So later, if I get a big roll around section of this, I can actually snap this on, carry it with me, everywhere that I go. So let's get started on filling this thing up. Okay, so for a tape measure, I'm gonna pick out a brand that I've heard. We, we've got Crescent here, the Lufkin brand. So what I'm gonna do, and this is shock force, and one thing I like about this, 120 foot drop test and a 17 foot reach. Now this is $29.98. This is kind of expensive for a tape measure, but I want a tape measure that's gonna last me a long time. This is heavy duty. You can see it from the front and back. I like the bright colors. It makes it really, really easy to see. You've got the inches, you've got the feet and the inches. You've got a magnetic tip. So if you're holding on to a piece of cast iron or something and you're trying to measure out, it holds it very, very clearly. I like it really because on the back side, if I'm shooting elevation, man, this gives me good numbers to really look at. So I do like this. Now. At $29.98, this is probably more than I would spend in the very beginning, but I want a tape measure that's gonna last me a while. And the neat thing about it, it's got a lifetime warranty. As long as I don't lose it, I should be able to have this forever. Trust me, nobody in the trades has ever had a tape measure forever. If you have, if you're a tradesman, leave me a comment here and let me know which one you've had forever. Which one do you keep carrying back and returning every time you get a scratch on it or something. Anyway, I've never had one last me too terribly long, more than a year or two, but for $29.98, I'm willing to try. Now, just starting out, you've got to figure out, do you want to buy big name brand tools that are going to cost you a lot of money, or do you want to maybe go a little bit cheaper but still get good tools? So looking through all this, knowing what I'm trying to put together right now, I've got a cobalt set of adjustable wrenches here. And I like this because you've got the small to the large and these have the extra wide jaws. Any of you that have seen my videos, you know that I love the ones with the extra wide jaws. A lot of times you can't get a big wrench into a tight spot, but that big jaw can make a difference on what you can get onto. So I like this, it's a cobalt brand, but here's what I like about it, lifetime guarantee. That's why we came to Lowe's because Cobalt brand, a lot of the tools, a lot of the brands that they carry, you get wonderful guarantees with them. And read this, hassle-free lifetime guarantee. You know what that means to me? If you mess it up, you bring it in, you swap it out, you walk out with a new tool, you're good to go. But not just the adjustable wrenches, also the adjustable pliers. This is a heck of a price. The adjustable wrenches, $22.98, and they've got the rubber padded grip. We could have gone cheaper for $16.98, but guess what? That's how much these are. That's why it's the last one there. So anyway, here we are, we're good to go. 
man, we're gonna get we're gonna get a good bag of tools. So now I hammer, okay? Now, if y'all have seen me before, you know that I've got a good east wing hammer like this, and I love it. Mine's actually this type right here, but this has a smooth surface. I want the one for construction. This would be great if I'm a finished carpenter, anything like that. But for me as a plumber, I want something really good. This does a lot of things. This is for a carpenter. You've got the jaw on here to grab a two by four to do different things with. But as a plumber, I love something like this. I love a good heavy duty hammer that's gonna last. And at 24 ounces, this is gonna help me get things done. A good hammer you can use every day. Anyway, 34.98, add it up, let's keep going. Okay, so everybody needs a screwdriver. And I've got to tell you, I love the little multi-screwdrivers, the 11-in-1, 12-in-1, 15-in-1, 18-in-1, whatever they've got. But I'll tell you what, for this price, $18.37, I love this. Flathead, Phillips, Phillips, flat, Phillips, flat. It gives you a nice assortment, and now you've got two different screwdrivers if you need it for anything. And again, we're talking Linux. You're getting a good name brand, to have in your bag, and you've got tools in there that you can use. Okay, so for a knife, look, here's something I started out with, just a regular box cutter. Now, they must be osmosis type these days because, you know, when I got them as a kid or a young guy starting out, it was a little slide lever that you could slide the blade out. Hmm. These are a little different. Know your place, trash. And get a different brand. Well, actually the same brand, but get a different type. This has got the thumb lock on it. So you can pull it out, use it, slide it back, lock it in. You're good to go. It has extra replacement blades in the handle. And for $5.98, what a way to go. Now something, look, you're really gonna need this. This is one of my favorites. This is an eight inch four in one file. You've got the flat for coarse and fine. And on the other side, you've got the curved coarse and fine. For 1098, this is a great tool to have in your bag. No matter if you're working with metal pipe, if you're working with plastic pipe, even if you're just working with conduit where you're trying to make stakes in the ground or anything like that. A great tool to have. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in here. Now we're gonna leave this section for now. We're gonna go back to the plumbing specialty tools. We need tubing cutters. We need things like that. So we're gonna go pick those up and then we're gonna come back up and finish out our bag. Let's go shopping. All right, so I'm torn here. Which brand to go? And I'm looking at the prices and you've got about $10 difference. But here's what I keep coming back to. This is a limited lifetime warranty. This is a hassle-free lifetime guarantee. So somebody just starting out, here's what I'm gonna tell you. This is the way that I would go. Because I'm talking 25, 50, $38 right here. 25, oops, 40, $48. I've got $48, right, I know, plumber math. I've got $48 right here, or 64 for this one down here. I would rather have these two here and know that I've got the hassle-free lifetime guarantee on it. Not a bad deal. And if you look, I've got an extra blade right there in the handle. Now, I'm not saying you're not gonna go through them pretty quick, You've got two of them, but what a great way to get started and know that you've got the right tools to help you do the job. So we're gonna add $25.98 and we're gonna add $21.98. Right now we're at a running total of $242.17 plus tax. I remember that. I don't know what kind of trade you're gonna get into. A hacksaw for anything metal conduit, things like that that you may need to make a stake with, and a PVC saw. Now this also comes in handy cutting wood sometimes. Now if you notice, we're not going into any power tools. This is all hand tools, but for starting out, this is gonna get you off to a great start. So, let's keep going. Okay, 
So I'm gonna go an 18 inch pipe wrench and I'm going steel. I like steel, I like the heavy duty. It's adjustable, again, the lifetime guarantee makes a big deal. And I do like the teeth on this. Lifetime guarantee makes it easy. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. We got a few more things to get and then we can get out of here. For $20.98, I'm gonna go ahead and get a basin wrench and I'm not getting the least expensive. I want one adjustable in case I need to reach up behind a deep kitchen compartment, something like that. So I'm gonna get a basin wrench because no matter whether I'm doing residential repair or new construction, I may need to get up in there to get on one of those tight nuts. Quit giggling. Okay, here we go. Levels. We're gonna go relatively inexpensive one at $13. I like this because it's a little bit longer and it's got grade. So you've got your 90 degree, your zero degree, your 45, but you've also got a grade level here. So you know if you're trying to get an eighth inch, quarter inch, any type fall, this is a good one to have. And I like it because it's a little bit longer. It's not an 18 inch or two foot, anything like that, but it's not just a little nine inch torpedo either. And for $13.98, that's a good price on a level. Again, hassle-free lifetime guarantee. If you drop it to recalibrate it and it messes up a bulb, bring it back, get another one. So we know we're gonna need some kind of a chisel, no matter what type of work we're doing. So I got a nice little assortment here, $15.98, three piece, three eighths, five inch, and half inch. Now, for starting out, this is probably more chisel than you're ever gonna need. But trust me, when you need them, you need them. Let's go finish this thing up. So I've got a flashlight and a headlamp, and I love this. The flashlight I love, in case there's just something I need to look at under a cabinet, I don't have to get down under there. A headlamp I love if I'm crawling through a crawl space, or maybe I'm working under a cabinet and I'm trying to look up behind the faucet. This is great to have because I can position it, I can aim it, get it right where I want it. So. Let's go check out and see, did I stay under $400 or did I bust it? All right, so look at that. We came down, they gave me $400 to spend Actually, just see that as the register, they made me pay for it. They didn't give me 400 bucks. They said, dude, you're paying for this. I'm like, wait, what? But look here, 397.85. Now think about this. If you're just starting out in the trades, this gets you off to a great start and a lot of these things you probably don't even have to have. When you go to your job, when you apply to your job, ask them, what do you expect me to bring on the first day? They're probably not gonna give you a list like this. They're not gonna say you have to have it on the first day, but, See why we shop at Lowe's? Yeah, what an easy way to fill your bag. Now, I've gotta go earn 400 bucks so I can pay for all this. See ya.